Sea stars, along with sea urchins and sea cucumbers, are all members of the phylum Echinodermata, which means spiny skin in Greek. Echinoderms have radial symmetry, meaning their body segments are repeated around a central axis, like the spokes of a wheel. They have an internal skeleton made of stiff plates and have rows and rows of tube feet. The movement of their feet is controlled by a water vascular system, a network of fluid-filled canals. Echinoderms also have an amazing ability to regenerate body parts. Some species of sea stars can regenerate an entire body from a single arm. Sea stars come in all sizes and colors and have varied diets. Here's a knobby star. You can see the short white spines all over its body. Surrounding these spines are actually bundles of tiny pincers that keep other organisms from growing on it. Knobby stars prey on many animals, including snails, barnacles, and tube worms. Bat stars range from red to mottled purple and have thick bodies and webbing between their short arms. They will eat almost anything. Sunflower stars grow up to three feet in diameter and can move at a pace of about three feet per minute, which is pretty fast for a sea star. Sunflower stars eat all sorts of things, sea urchins, crabs, snails, abalone, and even other sea stars. This sunflower star is hunting scallops. If it manages to catch one with its tube feet, it will ingest it whole into one of its two stomachs, in this case, the pyloric stomach, the one that stays inside its body. But check this out. Many sea stars have a second stomach that they can evert outside their bodies to engulf their prey. It's called a cardiac stomach. This is time-lapsed footage of a knobby sea star eating a mussel, shot from inside the mussel. First, the knobby star uses its tube feet to pry the shell open. Then it inserts its translucent stomach into the muscle. The knobby star's digestive juices dissolve the flesh of the muscle into a fluid that the knobby star's cardiac stomach can then absorb. As soon as it's done absorbing the liquefied muscle, the knobby star pulls its cardiac stomach out of the muscle shell and back inside its own body and then the pyloric stomach takes over and finishes digestion. This unusual digestive adaptation allows sea stars to hunt and eat prey much larger than their mouths. And for the Ocean Adventures team, a little underwater horsing around with a sunflower star is par for the course. But of course, they make sure it's okay afterwards. <laughs>